Hi, I'm Samantha, and I'm so excited to welcome you to the Jumperoo family. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble your new Jumperoo. It's simple and should only take about 45 minutes depending on your air compressor. To start, you will need the two sections of your base, four black set screws, and your two base connectors. We will begin by placing the base upside down on the prongs. We will then insert the base connectors until the groove in the connector lines up with the hole on the base. Then, using the small Allen wrench, we will insert the first set screw until it is flush with the base. Now, we are going to move to the other side and repeat these steps. Next, we are going to take the other side of the base and connect it with our inserted base connectors, securing with our set screws like we did on the previous side. Now, we are going to flip our base over so the prongs are facing up. If you are assembling a mini Jungle Jumperoo, you can skip this step. To assemble the poles, we are going to pick one curved pole and one straight pole of a like color and you're going to screw them together until all eight poles are assembled. As the poles are assembled, you can place each pole on a prong of the base in your desired color pattern. For our next step, it's really helpful to have a step stool. You will also need the octagon or hexagon for the mini, bolts, nuts, and washers, the large Allen wrench, and blue wrench. If you have a socket wrench, this would also be very helpful. If you have a helper, this is when they're going to come in handy to help you stabilize the octagon, but you can also use the top of the poles. We are going to start by placing the bolt through the inside of the octagon and through the flat section of your poles. You will see that the bolt fits perfectly into the groove of the octagon. We will then place the washer on the end of the bolt and secure the nut by hand. We are now going to repeat the same step for the next bolt. It is very important that you do not secure the nuts and bolts tightly at this point to allow for motion in the octagon while attaching the poles. Next, we are going to move to the pole directly across and repeat this process until all of the poles are secured with the bolts. After the bolts are installed, we're gonna go back and tighten them one by one. Now that our bolts are nice and tight, we are going to move to our set screws located at the base of each pole, screwing them in until they're nice and tight and as flush as possible. Congrats, we're almost done. When you reach this step, I suggest shaking the jumper room. See how stable it sounds? If you hear rattling, it likely means you have loose bolts, so go back and check and make sure everything is tight and secure. Now all that is left is inflating our inner tube, and you're all set. If you need assistance in inflating your tube, please view our tube inflation video for details and visual instructions. Once your tube is inflated, you will simply place it over the bars, and you and your kiddos are ready for hours of fun. Thank you for joining me today and for becoming part of our Jumper Roo family. As a small business, our customers really mean the world to us, and we're always here to help. If you have any questions or simply want to send us a photo of your family on the Jumperoo, we would love to hear from you. You can get in touch by simply responding to any of your order emails. We'll see you soon.